Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I just wanted to uh, talk to you about um, what I've been using to change my PIDs. I know a lot of people out there, um, they've been lugging their laptop, you know, this gaudy thing, and trying to change your PIDs out there on the spot. What I've been doing, and this is for the KISS flight controllers, I've been using my cell phone. And I'm going to tell you how I do it and what you need. Now what I've been using was my cell phone out there on the in the flying field and what you need to do is you need to go to Google Play and download the KISS GUI on the Google Play. It's a uh, version 1.15.7 I believe. And you also need this little thing. This right here is a micro USB OTG cable, on the go cable. So that's what you're going to need. That and of course your quad alright guys so it's pretty simple all you need to do is go ahead and open in the app it's gonna look something like that similar to the desktop one go ahead and plug your OTG cable into your phone and then with your props off go ahead and plug this into your flight controller And then you'll see right there the green light turn on. There you go. Go ahead, press connect. And this right here just is asking you use by default for this USB device. Press OK. And there you go. Everything you need to do change your PIDs, your RC rate, your rate, your RC curve, arm high, all that stuff. If you make any adjustments, all you got to do is just press this green button here, and that saves it. Pretty simple. If you want to go to the Advanced tab, here you can do, um, you know, if you have notch filters and stuff, you can go ahead and set those. Data output. Pretty much everything in the desktop you can do right here, and you don't have to lug your laptop around onto the field rates you can see your RC curve and all that stuff right there your roll pitch and your all rates and of course me I, I have a t I use a TPA a custom TPA so here you can adjust your TPA values right here right here on the fly make any adjustments you want to go ahead and then you want to press the save button go back to configuration so it's pretty simple you can select if you want DSHOT 600 which I have that so that's it really easy go ahead make your adjustments click save at the bottom now what I normally do is I'll go ahead and disconnect and go ahead and connect back just to see if my rates and everything and my values have been saved and that's it Go ahead and disconnect, unplug it from your phone, put your props on and go fly and test it out. It's really simple. Thanks again guys for checking out my channel. It's really simple. You go ahead and just use your cell phone, connect everything like I just showed you, do all your adjustments right there on the field and go fly. It's a lot of fun, easy. So thanks for joining my channel. And uh, please like and subscribe if you like what you saw. And hopefully I can make more stuff like this very informative. Thanks again, man.